In this video, I'm going over Rambox, one way to actually boost your productivity because you're pulling in all your social media accounts, all your email, all your messages, all your chat from all over the internet, all into one spot. So I use this for Discord, uh, Mastodon, Twitter, uh, messages, Gmail, Office 365, you name it, it's on here. It's a great place. And with it all in one spot, it makes you far more productive because how I use it is I push it into there and say, you know what, here at the hour, I'm going to actually pull up my RAM box and then flip through my social and then do that. So, uh, and that, it, it still get notifications from my, my email and those types of things, but you can choose what you get notifications from. So you can completely silence these apps for ones that just don't matter as much. So I really like to do that and I like to mute certain apps. Like I know my Discord sometimes can really pop off and get out of hand sometimes and, and cause my attention to really divert when I need to be focusing on something else. So I really like Rambox a lot, uh, but let's go over and flip into the actual desktop and check it out. This video is brought to you by Purism, makers of the Librem One. If you haven't already, go check it out and get on the Mastodon social network because it is extremely powerful and I absolutely love it. So here is Rambox. Now you first start with just this icon. I've already added all these, but these are all the things that are supported just in the community edition, which is what I'm using. And they said this is going to be free now and forever, and it's also on GitHub, so I truly believe that is the case. The Pro version does have like some advanced features like panels, spell check, and uh, some other cool little gadgets. I may eventually go to the Pro version. I just want to really sink my teeth in with the community version. And the first week on Rambox, I got to say, I absolutely love the community version. I think I will end up probably subscribing and going with the Pro version of this. However, this is free and it's the community driven one. I'm gonna see where it takes me. I think, I don't think I'd even need the panels, but I don't know, uh, we'll see. The spell checking is really what I need it for because my English is horrible. Now I've added Discord up here where it just pulls in my Discord server and I've put all these on my left side. These are my less important ones, so I put them on my left. My more important, more pressing ones, I put on my right. That's my work email, my Gmail, Android messages and Hangouts. Those, when I see a little number tick up, I'm like, ooh, hey, I, I gotta check it, unless it's Gmail, and then I'm like, yeah, I'll check it later. But uh, these things are like my immediate messages I need to watch out for getting a hold of me. These are, hey, my social media presence, how I interact with people. I can check these at my leisure and I kind of want to see what's going on. So I can just pop in my Discord and go, hey, what's going on, Tech Talk? Um, looks like somebody put a bunch of Nerf things on a server. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's there's some other stuff. So uh, that that would be my Discord, and then I can pop over to LinkedIn and go, hey, this is what's going on as far as notifications go. Twitter, I can pull up my little tweet deck, see what's going on. If any of them mentioned it, I've retweeted a uh, purism post, uh, had some mentions here. I probably should catch up on my mentions. I don't think I've actually gone through uh, a lot of my mentions here, so I probably should catch up on that at some point in time. And then my WhatsApp, which I really don't use. I've used it a couple times. I think one of the first collaborations I did, I actually used WhatsApp and then I didn't. And then I got my Librem One right here, which I absolutely love. I've kind of been giving it more priority just because I like it a lot better than Twitter. Um, and I hope it really succeeds and takes off uh, because this is the Mastodon network, which if you haven't watched the video from, I believe yesterday, uh, just check it out. It is completely awesome. I absolutely love it. It's uh, such a great platform. Uh, I will, I think, be a Twitter killer in the end. It, it's it's great. And then I got my Hangouts, Android messages, which I can check and see my text messages, uh, my work email from O365, um, all that. So all of it's right there. I can just do it at a click of a button, kind of see everything that's happening, and then go from there. So this is the, the basis of Rambox. And then let's 
go to their website. If you go to rambox.pro, you'll see this is how it is. You can try Rambox for free. It makes it sound like a paid product, but it really isn't. It's really just so great. Um, as far as the features go, you can see they kind of try and rope you into the pro paid features, but so many custom apps all at your fingertips. It's more for productivity, in my opinion. And then if you are interested in the pro, it's like four bucks a month. So maybe um, I'll see about maybe doing this and, and giving my feedback or update and whenever I do it. But I want to at least go a couple months on the free community version and just kind of say, hey, are they on GitHub? What's their presence? This is their actual GitHub page. It does have everything. It's not just some readme file to say we're on GitHub. It, it's a legit thing. And you can actually come into the extra releases section and you can get this and install it a variety of different ways. They have app images, dev files, RPMs, tar files, if you wanna build it yourself, all of it right here. I highly recommend doing uh, app image is my favorite. However, if you wanna do a snap, please note if you do snap install, I noticed it did 0 0.6.7. Um, so it was running about two subversions behind and it was notifying me to update and just doing a refresh, even changing the channel from the official snaps wasn't working for me. So I actually had to come here and install the snap by downloading the snap file and then going to the directory snap install and then the snap file dash dash dangerous i think when you whenever you download a dot snap uh, a lot of times they're not signed properly so you actually have to do that to say hey i don't care about the risk just install it um, but with all that i don't recommend doing that method i just kind of did that because i wanted to go down that rabbit hole um, and then uh, i think actually i ended up uninstalling it and doing it through the standard uh, debian package because that's what i'm on However, uh, I would recommend probably the app image for this one if you really wanted to be up in it because the app images are so interchangeable and very easy to update as well. So there you have it, that's Rambox. I absolutely love this program. It has made me a far more efficient and productive person uh, just because I use it. This wasn't sponsored or anything. I know it kind of comes off as that uh, because I absolutely do love this. It has saved me so much time and energy just by using Rambox. I'm gonna stick with the community edition because I really, really have enjoyed it. I may eventually go to the pro, but that mainly be for the spell check functionality. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna stick with the free version because wow, I, I'm so shocked at how much more stuff I get done by having everything consolidated. Uh, it's a very powerful thing having everything in one spot with all your notifications and you're not sitting there searching around or you're having your task tray constantly pop out at you and, and kind of diverting your attention. You can say, hey, put do not disturb on on Rambox and literally you won't be bothered and you can make a video. You can do whatever it is you need to do to be productive. And that's what I like about it. I am a far more productive person with this program and that's why I wanted to bring it to your attention. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. A big shout out to my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make these videos. And I'll see you in the next video.